newborn jaundice or neonatal jaundice paninilaw ng baby bakit nga ba naninilaw si baby newborn jaundice is not a disease but a symptom of something else going on inside It is a yellow discoloration of a baby's skin and eyes. It is very common and can occur when babies have a high level of bilirubin, which is a yellow pigment produced during normal breakdown of red blood cells. Yung paninilaw ng baby ay magsisimula yan on the head and then on the face before spreading to the chest and abdomen. Ang paninilaw ng baby ay naturally highest on the third day until the fifth day after birth. If your baby is a full term and healthy, mild jaundice is nothing to worry about. It will resolve by itself within a week or two weeks. If premature or sick baby with high levels of bilirubin, maaring kailangan niya ng close monitoring and medical treatment. In premature babies, sila yung mas prone to have jaundice, it can take 5 to 7 days to appear and usually lasts about 3 weeks. Sino ba ang mas prone to have jaundice? Una, kung ang baby ay premature, ibig sabihin, ipinanganak siya ng less than 37 weeks age of gestation. Pangalawa, yung mga babies who are not getting enough breast milk. Meron din pangatlo, meron din tayong tinatawag na breast milk jaundice. Yung mga purely breastfed babies. Ito ay, uh, yung jaundice ay uh, makikita mo, it happens after the first week of life. And yung bilirubin levels niya slowly will improve over the next uh, one week or two weeks. Ano ba yung mga causes bakit naninilaw ang isang baby? So, maaring yung baby has a different blood type from the mother. Uh, halimbawa, ang mother ay uh, blood type O at si baby ay blood type A or blood type B. Ito yung tinatawag nating ABO incompatibility. They are more prone to have jaundice. O kaya yung mother, IRH factor is negative and the baby is RH positive. Ito yung tinatawag natin, RH incompatibility. Prone din ang mga babies na to na magkaroon sila ng jaundice. O yung iba, genetic problem. Ito yung tinatawag natin, G6PD deficiency prone din yung mga babies na ganito na magkaroon ng jaundice. O kaya yung mga baby na mataas ang red blood cell count. Tinatawag ito na polycythemia or polycythemic baby. O yung mga babies na ipinanganak na may bruise sa ulo. Halimbawa yung mga babies na vacuum delivered or ventus delivered. It's nothing to worry about, but unfortunately, because sometimes jaundice can reach dangerously high levels, leading to kernicterus and possible brain damage, it is important that jaundice is not ignored. So, meron tayong mga uh, ways how to treat jaundice at home halimbawa, sunlight yung benefit po ng sunlight, pagpaarawan natin si baby early in the morning about 15 minutes two times a day, the blue light spectrum found naturally in sunlight helps to break down excess bilirubin to help the body excrete Pupubaran si baby, ilalapit dun sa malapit sa bintana na nasisinagan ng araw. This will do the trick. Or if the baby is not getting enough breast milk, you can 
give supplement or milk formula. Pero pag maraming breast milk si mama, it is wise to feed the baby frequently. Kailangan, uh, when to worry. Ito na. Kung ang baby ay uh, tulog na lang ng tulog, hindi na gumigising sa kanyang pagdedede, napaka-dark na ang kanyang urine or concentrated. O kung pinapadede siya ng, ng mama, hindi na siya nagsasak ng maayos. Tamad na tamad siyang magdede. O makikita mo na nag increase ang uh, yellow sa kanyang balat, pati yung mga white ng kanyang mata ay naninilaw na. At uh, hindi mapakali si baby. Yung nararamdaman mo o nakikita mo na merong dinaramdam yung baby or maaring the baby has lost more than 10% of his birth weight at yung kanyang paninilaw ay uh, naglalas na for 3 weeks or more. So, when jaundice in newborn babies becomes more severe and more intensive interventions are necessary, the most common treatment is phototherapy. So, ano ba yung phototherapy? This is when the baby is placed under an artificial blue light. The light amplifies the effects of sunlight to help break up the bilirubin into molecules at mas madali silang ma-excrete from the body through yung pagpupopo uh, ni baby. Under the photolight, the baby's eyes are covered to prevent from uh, retinal damage. Is it fatal for babies to have jaundice? Okay, fatal complications are rare. Hindi po ito kadalasan. But if severe jaundice in newborn babies is left untreated at pataas po na pataas uh, yung level ng bilirubin ni baby, it can cause uh, a build up in the brain. At makakarating yan sa brain. That causes lethargy, fever, uh, trouble eating, at yung sobrang taas na bilirubin level dun sa blood ni baby, it can damage the brain and spinal cord, which can be life-threatening. Uh, Ito po yung tinatawag nating kernicterus, which is rare but irreversible brain damage that can result from high levels of bilirubin in the baby's blood being deposited in the baby's brain tissue. At dahil sa napakataas na bilirubin level, ay maaring mag, uh, mauwi sa, sa cerebral palsy and deafness or brain damage. Sa mga mami, it is best to recognize jaundice. Babies with jaundice for longer than 2 weeks need more testing to check for other things that is causing the jaundice. Maaring may infection na si baby sa kanyang digestive system which is causing na yung kanyang paninilaw or problems with the liver or metabolism. At it, it is best po na uh, a week or five days to a week after birth ay kailangan po natin ibalik si baby doon sa pediatrician or sa baby clinic for the pediatrician to check. Tandaan po natin, bilirubin levels are naturally highest between 3 to 5 days after birth. So, if your baby is a full term and healthy, mild jaundice is nothing to worry about. It will resolve by itself within a week or two. Kailangan lang natin ma-recognize kung yung paninilaw ni baby ay uh, lumalala o nagre-resolve na. At sana itong tutorial na ito ay nag nakabagbigay ng konting idea, lalo na para sa mga mamis. Newborn jaundice or neonatal jaundice. Paninilaw ng baby. Bakit nga ba naninilaw si baby?